Welcome back to Mike went to the Asian supermarket and found some fun stuff. I mean, let's go. Oh, wait. What? <laughs> Spencer Shorty. That's the one. Go with that one. And so I found meals representing some of my great video game lights. And so I'm going to call this episode. Video Game Vittles. Unless I decide later there's a better name. So let's start with the classic, the ever recognizable. And since this one's a meal and the other ones are kind of snacks. Get out of here. And the first thing I'm going to try is this. It says Pokemon Petite Curry. As you can clearly read here, I'm well versed in reading Japanese. At least I think it's Japanese. It looks like Japanese. And I chose this one. There were some other ones, but this one actually had a Pokemon other than Pikachu that I like, which is Eevee. And I guess I like Rowlet. He's okay. So our instructions, very easy to tell what you're supposed to do here. As you can see, you're supposed to rip a ground piece of clay in half and throw it in boiling water or put something in the microwave. I'm going to be doing the microwave. In fact, let's actually open this. Not only is this a tasting video, it's an unboxing video. You can watch me fumble around with it for a bit. Uh, I'm actually kind of sad to open this. I've been saving it for a while to do this episode. And then I held off a bit because I made Vermont curry, which is also Japanese curry that there's a whole story behind. That'll have to wait for another show. Okay, so here's... Oh, there's something on the inside. I'll have to open that too, but let's look at our packets. We can either do Pikachu flavor or Pikachu flavor. I don't know about you guys, but I'm thinking Pikachu flavor. But I might be tempted to try Pikachu flavor. But it's also, oh, ooh, there's a present, sorry, there's a prize, it's, I forget the name. Dark Tricks? Dark Trick. But I got it. Not sure what I'm gonna do with it. Maybe. In fact, let's save that for later. And let's also open up the rest of the box because it looks like there might be something interesting. I didn't actually expect that. It's a... I'm guessing it's a color in your own Pikachu? Because apparently the only Pokemon that exists is Pikachu. And color your own Pikachu. Or I guess it looks like a silhouette. There could be a Who's that Pokemon? If you cover that part. Who's that Pokemon? Do -do -do. It's Pikachu! So yeah, let's actually stop messing around and eat this up. I forgot. All the dishes are right here. No. Should have been more prepared. Bowl or plate? Vote now in the comments and invent time travel, and you can influence this decision. I'm gonna go with... You know, I like my curry on a plate. I feel like it more matches what's on the box, so... Plate curry it is, but I guess I have to heat it up in a bowl? I don't know what I'm doing. Ugh. Maybe I should probably get a look at this. It looks a bit baby food-esque, or... You know, there's so many things that seem to remind me of the vomit from uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon. Also, what this reminds me of? Oh, this is like a pittance of curry. That's good, so I'm not that hungry. And yet I have to taste like five things. So here's our curry... pre-made curry, I guess? It smells... okay. We'll get more thoughts on the smell when I actually get to eat it. And now, it's time for a Gigabyte TV sing-along with your unwitting host, who was sure this footage wasn't going to make it into the final video. Ignore everything going on in the background. This part can be cut out. Because there is nothing really going on right now. Oh no, I've got rice on the floor. And now, let's never speak of that again. It's definitely not exploding in the microwave, don't worry. Okay, maybe it's exploding a little bit. I better go check. 
Here's what the curry looks like after I heated it up. It looks a little better. And I guess with a nice little head of steam, it's nicer. It also exploded in the microwave a bit. That's my bad. I should have covered it instead of being an idiot. But, but sometimes you're just an idiot. Let's eat. Oh, and the spoon is very important. You need a very nice Asian-style spoon. Everything tastes better if you use a nice spoon. That's my motto in life. My one motto. There's no other motto. Eh? Like, it just tastes like kind of homogenous Japanese style curry. Like, the flavors are there, but they're all pretty muted. Like, you can taste that there's supposed to be some form of cumin, coriander, soy kind of flavor profile, but it's just all. It's all mush, and it's all just edible, and nothing much further than that. Pikachu, you do not make a very good chef. Shame on you. Despite how cute your chef plushie is. On to the next Pokemon dish. This is actually something I had to look up because I needed to figure out how to cook it because as you can see on the back, there's no English instructions and the name of it is Pokemon Ochazuke. Ochazuke? Ochazuke. And it's actually a dish I hadn't heard of before. And so this is, I guess, a seasoning packet you put on top of a bowl of rice, and then traditionally you pour green tea over. I don't have any green tea. I don't even have any tea. So we're just gonna do boiling water, but gonna try it anyway. So let's open it up. This one might also have a thing inside. See if we get a better Pokemon. One I can actually remember the name of. I'm sorry, I can't remember like ones I actually like more than the ones I barely used. All right, so, come on, I want a present. Give me a present. I'm expected now. Ah, uh, it's... Why am I getting the second form of all the Sun and Moon starters? Ryan? Green? Ugly Clown Seal? It's a shame it's not Primarina, because I actually like that one. But we'll add that to the collection. Flavors are... As you can see, we have Pikachu flavor, Pikachu flavored, Pikachu flavored, or Pikachu. Yeah. Just kidding, there's other Pokemon on the other side. We have Yungus, everyone's favorite Rattata. Uh, I can't see that in the reflection. Oh, it's Rock Rock. I actually do like Rock Rock. Rock Rock's pretty cute. Or we could have Sharpedo. Or Milotic, which I always pronounce Milotic, but whatever, I'm pretty sure it's Milotic. Vote now on your favorite Pokemon out of these four. If it's not Rock Ruff or Milotic, you're wrong. And that's not nice. You should never disparage other people's favorite Pokemon. I'm sure someone likes Dunsparce or Yungus. I don't like Yungus. Let's do Rock Ruff. Ignore all those background sounds. It's definitely not me cleaning out a bowl because I forgot to. Get up, please. No eating rice. Come on. What you do is you sprinkle the seasoning packet on top. Oh, there's little Pikachus! Oh, my stuff's falling in the background. There's little Pikachus. Look. Oh, that Pikachu's broken, but it's Pikachu. Let's get a cuter one. Pikachu. It actually kind of reminds me of Furikake, just because of, I think, all the nori where it's a rice seasoning. But then you pour boiling water on top, if you can actually get it to hit properly, and then we eat it. And by we, I mean me, unless you're somehow watching this and following along. In which case, thank you. Time to find out, what does this taste like? After the curry, I'm not expecting too much, but I don't know, this smells more interesting to me. And this is gonna fall over on my arm. Told ya. It smells like nori, primarily. There's little like balls in here too, I don't know what those are made out of. Definitely better than the curry. And I wonder if that's just because this isn't something I've ever had before, so I don't have a baseline like I do with curry. Yeah, it just tastes like nori. And rice. 
You can see I'm making this at home. Like, it could be a cool dish to just, like, use a bunch of scraps, pour broth on it, and it's nice. But I guess what I learned today is that Pikachu tastes like disappointment. Let's -a go! I don't know about you, but after all that savory food, I could really go for some dessert. In this case, I have Super Mario Gummy, which actually, not sure it qualifies as a gummy because it does not contain gelatin. It does, however, contain a bunch of stuff I don't feel like going over. It's kind of like a generic uh, starch set candy. But it has Mario, so how could it be a bad? Mario would never betray me like a Pikachu did. And so this is what it looks like on the back. It has a bunch of cute stuff I can't understand. Maybe it has Yoshi cooking out an egg inside, which would probably kill my appetite. Or Toad, <laughs> which would also kill my appetite. So let's open it up. Is there a way I can open it without tearing the package? Oh. <laughs> yes, yes there was. And I did it. Oh, they're individually wrapped, too. So take your guess, what Mario character is going to end up on this wrapper? Is it A, Mario, B, probably Mario, or C, something else? If you guessed Lakitu, you were right. I know that wasn't any of the options, because I honestly wasn't expecting Lakitu on there. In fact, who else is on here? Now we've got to find out. We have Shy Guy, Spiny, Luigi. <laughs> I was gonna say it's all Mario enemies, and then Luigi showed up. But I guess in a way, brothers are Mario's enemies. No, Iggy. This one's Iggy, I think. I can't remember all the Koopalings. I couldn't even remember the Pokemon. Oh, here's a Mario. Mario teaching on a big. And you know what? I feel like Luigi, so let's go with Luigi. Oh, it's kind of. Oh, this one looks like it's an egg pattern, though. How come Luigi gave birth to a Yoshi egg? I guess that's that whole I'm a Luigi. thing that people like because it's a meme on the internet. But they feel... S sorry. Squeegee. Like... They're softer than I expected. I guess they kind of look like hard candies on the box. But they're not, so let's just eat it. Oh, ooh. Is this something you're supposed to chew or not? Because chewing's not getting me anywhere. It's not like one of those konjac jellies that people choked on, right? No? Well, I don't know what oblate powder is. I think I would. Like, maybe kids would have fun with this, but this isn't the right dessert for me. They're okay. They taste just like kind of generic fruit. Like, not even like lab accident fruit, but just fruit, I guess. I'm ready to move on. Although, where's my prize? No! There's no prize in this one. And now I have to clean this up. Oh, there was Yoshi in there! <gasps> and Yoshi cooping out an egg! I found it! My favorite Mario character. Because if there's one thing I need in my life, it's unbridled positivity that only Yoshi can bring. Now, I don't know about you, but after our first depressing dessert, I feel like the need for another dessert. And so this time, it's from Yokai Watch, a series that's not too popular in the US. And I don't want to say it's kind of like Pokemon. But, like, it's the easiest analogy. It's like comparing everything to chicken. It's like, oh, what does frog taste like? Oh, it tastes like chicken, because that's a good baseline flavor. But Yokai Watch is more traditional RPG-ish and has a ton versions of this cat. Although this one I don't recognize. The normal one is red and his name is Jibanyan. But I guess this is probably for the game that's not out yet in the US. Yokai Watch is up to like five games and only up to number three are out. So let's take a closer look. It's in our book. Oh, and also, the reason this kind of interested me was I actually saw this snack in another show that's also kind of related to Pokemon. It was Digimon Cross Wars, where they called the food Digibites. And it looked just like this. And 
So to be honest, this is the thing I was second most excited to try today. Just because it seems like it's a part of Japanese culture I also don't know. So that's two new learning experiences for me today. If you ever wondered where this guy was from, he's also from Yokai Watch. I like him because he's cute. So I guess I open here. And... Oh, that top just comes right off. Corn grits is the primary ingredient, so I assume this is going to be something like an extruded corn crunchy thing. I just don't want to destroy the packaging. It's kind of cute. I like the shape. It reminds me of a shape. It reminds me of like a honeycomb or something. That's what they should do. They should do a Banjo-Kazooie version of this. But, oh, this one comes with something in addition to whatever that is. It's... I really can't tell! But maybe you at home can! What is this? What is this thing? It's upside down. What is this? It has the cat on it again. I don't know the name of this version. They have like 20 different versions of this one cat. They have them as like a whole bunch of different fruit. They have them as a robot. They have them as different colored robots. I'm trying to think which other versions of They have them fused with this guy. They have them as a Yankee. They have them as a spiky thing. I can't get this open. How are children supposed to open this stuff if I can't? With their little hands? And inside is... Another thing I don't know what it is. But... Here's it to look at. This is the day of me not knowing things from series I normally like. Try the snack. I have an image in my head. Yeah, this I can just rip. I'm sick of this at this point. I mean, it's in my head of what it's supposed to be, but they say it's a cookie. It actually says Japanese cookie, yokai wachi snack. So let's see. Oh yeah, they're just what they look like on the tin. I'm definitely not sick of getting up and showing you guys stuff, but I'll still get up and show you guys stuff. Well, down the hatch. You know, it's weird, because I was like, kind of expecting Cheetos Crunch, but they're super airier than that. They're airier than, like, a Cheeto, and the flavor's not quite just corn. What's it like? Let's ask the ingredients what it likely is. Uh, soy pulp, maybe. Soy sauce, yeast extract, carrot juice, whey powder, glutamate. Yeah, I guess it's that combination of like the wheat and the carrot juice and stuff to give it a slightly meaty fishy-ish flavor which I guess is what a cat would like but I am not a cat these are just okay they're definitely not a cookie they're a snack food which means I probably should have done them before the Mario gummy but whatever you know what I feel like after a disappointing snack, after a dessert, is going back to Pokemon. So I have one last ting, and it is something. That's literally all I know about it, is it's something. Looks like it's some kind of gum, maybe? That Pokemon is Lunala fused with What's its face? You know, Sun and Moon is where I'm starting to drop off in Pokemon, and then all this stuff has been Sun and Moon stuff. Well, let's find out. Oh no, it's... I think it's gum. This looks like gum to me. I don't know what that means. Is it fruit juice flavored? I was gonna say, is it like margarita flavored for the kids who love Pokemon and alcohol? Alcohol, if you would. Pokehall? Uh, oh, there's stuff on the wrappers, though. Well, now I have to look at every wrapper. Here's the thing, though. I haven't chewed gum <laughs> since high school. Because I had braces, and I never picked up the habit again, and they told me not to chew gum. So, this one I like. This is Sylveon. I know Sylveon. Let's see if there's any of these I don't recognize. So there's one with Avi and Styrna? Stir Stevia? There's some Pokemon named after, like, sugar. Pikachu? Who would have thought? 
It's a bird and a purple thing. And... Oh, I do like a low and vault picks. Hmm. It's very cute. Also, I knocked over Pikachu, but... He probably deserved it. Yeah, but I unwrapped Sylveon, so I have to try Sylveon. I wonder how difficult it is to review gum. Other than, like, the gum that transferred between meals in Willy Wonka. Like, what's special about gum? Yeah, it's definitely fruit-flavored. What fruit? I probably couldn't tell you. It actually tastes eerily similar to that other candy. The one with Mario on it. It's also really tough to talk while chewing and reviewing gum. If this is actually gum, I can't tell. Maybe it's actually edible, because it seems to be gradually disappearing. So maybe not gum. I don't know what you call it when it looks like gum, but doesn't stick around. It has stick, because like a stick of gum, it's a pun. All right. So I guess let's do final ratings for everything, because people like numbers. So Pokemon, not gum, gets a whatever Pokemon this is. So Pokemon Not Gum gets whatever Vulpix's dex number is divided by 10 out of 10. Future me will have to figure that out, sorry. Yokai Watch Crunchy Things get a number of Yokai Watch games released in the United States out of 10. Now I'm gonna regret when that like equals like seven or something out of ten. Mario Weird Chew Gummies get a number of shy guys in the first screen of Yoshi's Island out of ten. Pokemon Ochitsuke gets a you know, I can't think of anything clever for this one. How about the number of Pikachu faces on it out of 10? That's 6 out of 10 for future me to deal with. The Pikachu Pokemon Petite Curry gets a 2.5 out of 10. Because Pikachu's Pokedex number is 25. In case you thought I stopped trying to be clever. So, thank you very much for joining me on this journey into random stuff I picked up at an Asian supermarket. I hope you enjoyed it quite like I did. I quite enjoy my new fanning tools of Pokemon I barely remember the names of. If you quite enjoyed this exciting journey, please let me know by leaving a like or leaving a comment. If you've tried any of these things before, or something like them, or you've seen some other cool product with branding of something you like, let me know. And thank you very much for joining us. You don't deserve to wear that Shep head, Pikachu.